Good morning, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing? Hello, hello, hello to everyone. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here this morning, for you to see me and for me to see you. Thank you. It is a blessing. It is a huge blessing, right? Pisces, um, thank you for all those who continue to come back and support me and watch me and subscribe to this channel. Thank you a million for those who leave comments and share my videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you for all those who go onto my webpage and purchase my candles. This is the Black Magic Spellbreaker candle. And it's good for breaking black magic or anything that you feel like is not going right in your life. Okay. And I don't know what is going on. But this is what this is for, right? Watch the way it burns. It's important that you watch. You cannot make excuse if your candles is not burning right. That means something is not right in your life, okay? Now, I burn the black candle and the white candle, which I'm going to do again. The black candle finished burning. The white candle is still burning. I know that's right. That means that black candle... Everything that is supposed to be gone is gone that quick. Thank you, Jesus. All right? And that candle burnt black. So I'm going to repeat the process once the white candle is gone. That's the way it goes. All right? Now, the Abundant Prosperity, Healing, Growth, Wealth, Fertility, and Nature candle is what we thrive for. Right? And like I said, take your time because work and continue work at what you want. The same way you work for somebody you love, work for your damn self. Okay? Put the work in yourself. This is the love yourself candle. Love yourself, honey, like nobody's business. All right? Um, the justice candle is if you go on a court or you have a court hearing or anything, child support, custody battles, um, restraining orders, uh, assault charges, um, um, uh, problems, legal problems, problems with um, your um, motor vehicle problems. Anything like that, if you're suing somebody, whatever, are they suing you, whatever. But this is to be, or you feel like you need things to be fair with you, all right? This is what this candle is for, and I always burn that candle on my altar. It's about to be the full moon. Write your ritual, write a letter to the universe and burn it on this bay leaf. I, I, I always get big bay leaves, all right? And you get bay leaves anywhere. This is the sage that comes with two Palo Santo, okay? Uh -oh. Now, this is the red brick dust, and this is for protection, all right? If you feel like something is not going right, um, and you need to put that around your surroundings, do it. In front of your door, around your house, especially on a full moon. Put that thing around your whole house if you have a house. If you live in an apartment, make sure you put it in front of your door, in front of every door, hinges through your home. Especially if you have kids or you live with other people, all right? You never know what they're bringing into your house. And like I say, you better thank God as you're driving, anywhere, as you're going, make the sign of the cross because you never know what can happen, ever. All right? This is the walnut that works with your shadow work. Everybody in the world has a shadow side. Everybody. Okay? It ain't one person in the world that don't have a shadow side. We all have shadow sides. We all got to work with things that's going on in our life that we may not like. And it's about us. It's not about somebody else. Okay. Um, my oils are in all kinds of form. 
and read everything you buy so you know how to use it. And if you read everything you buy, you'll learn more. Things that you can do beyond just lighting a candle, what else you can do with it, okay? Or what else goes with it, all right? The oils come in dry form just in case you need it to be dry. Um, these are my jewelry, my crystal, my stones, my crystals. Oh, Jesus. And it come in stones. Oh, my God. Sorry, Lord. Okay. Um, these I will be restocking. I'm trying to make this out of a necklace. Um, but this is my Jonah Art necklace. And uh, my evil eye and my seven, seven chakra. Okay. Um. With my jewelry, everything I have is what I make. Everything on me. I take pride in what I do. This is my salt bath. And it is good if you are, your immune system and all that, coughing and carrying on and everything. Because that new um, virus that's going to come down is worse than what it was to COVID. It hits your immune system. Not only that. It messes with your breathing, all right? You go to doctors, they don't even know what's going on, but they will be knowing what's going on very soon. Give it to October or November, then you're going to see it pop off. Like I said, I wear my mask. I'm not playing with nothing. I'm not going to wind up in no hospital and then talk about, well, I should have worn my mask. Oh, no, you damn right. What you should have done and what you're doing is two different things. I know people don't like wearing that mask, but it saved lives. My salt bath is just that. It works with your lungs, clears your lungs. Um, it's good for your immune system, and it's also good to work with pains, in your body, okay? My saw works within and out. And you got to work within before you can get to the outer part of you, all right? That is cave saw. That's not Epsom saw. It's cave saw, all right? Another thing I want to say, um, I put good oils in my products. I don't buy crazy oils, bull crap oils, all right? My oils cost money, and I don't get them from just anybody. All right? They come from overseas, and I pay for my oils. Anybody knows that if they make like a candle or whatever, and you order, if you can buy anybody's oil, and you're going to pay. So when you buy good oil, then, and it's got to be holy oils, okay? Um, Honey, let me tell you something. That's all I got to say. If you want to go get whatever, then you can go to five and below. A dollar store. You can get whatever you want. Because you can just put what you want and do what you want with it. I can't tell you what to do. But I know I pay for everything. And, and my prices have not gone up. My my honey, you can't get no face-to-face -face reading for no $80. Alright? So my prices have not gone up. Even though everything else is going up, my prices is still the same. With everything, oils and all. So, that's all I'm going to say. We all live in this time. So, this is what I do for a living. Okay? So, understand that. And you can price my readings with somebody else's reading. And you ain't getting no face-to-face -face reading for no $80. You're not going to get it the same day or the next day. You're going to get an email reading that's going to cost you more. And you're going to get charged for three or four questions. Damn near $50. So you, I'm not, please don't play with me. Please don't. You know, I understand what you're talking about. But there's plenty of outlets that you can go and get what you want. All right. Plenty. All right. Um, I also have herbs in a bag. My herbs in a bag is all my herbs. From what I grow. Alright. And I got to make sure I grow it. And have enough throughout the winter. I started two years ago. And then um, I had problems. Even with some of my oils. That I. Um, be, you know. We saw we were where I live at. So I got a lot of machines that. 
turn my um, plants into oil. And it wasn't cheap buying them, so but I had to get it. All right, it's just certain things you got to get. And even though it costs money, you got to buy whatever piece by piece to get ready for that machine that you're about to purchase. All right, and that's some real shit. Um, I have my own beeswax. All right, I don't order my beeswax. I have my own. Um, so for me to say that, thank you for all those who support me. I should not be even saying this. But I just don't, sometimes I don't, I don't understand. Like, I don't know what else you want from me. Okay? <clears throat> and I understand. If you can't, you can't. But please don't shoot me down too. This is what I do for a living. And my, everything, God is my sole provider. All right, he's my sole provider, and, and that's who moves me to pay everything of mine, and that ain't no lie. I, I don't live wealthy, I'm not wealthy. I'm not, I work my ass off for everything I own, and it ain't nothing that I have. Um, I, I don't have um, all of this stuff that. You know, whatever people think of me, you you got you something right, ain't right here because I don't live like that, and that's some real shit. My roof is caving, and it ain't your business or your problem. But that's what I'm saying, okay? So please, 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 ain't nobody trying to hear all what you try to tell me. That's all I gotta say. You can continue to watch me and support me that way. That's good enough, all right? But it is what it is. All right, so thank you, Lord, for providing for me and taking care of me. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so I am reading off the ritual's deck, right, to start off the reading. The ritual deck, and it is warm up in here, and it is crazy. I don't know about y'all, but where I live at, the, the, the electric bill went up like $50. I'm like, what the hell? It, it, and I guess it went up for me $50 because I got two oil tanks. Okay, did my house get heated with oil? Can you imagine? At $50. That electric bill went up every time it come. And, and um, I don't know what it is, but it went up $50, I guess, for each. I don't know what the hell it is, what, I don't know what the hell they talking about, but I know it's just not me. I know it's everybody, but I just wish that this government, um, stop sending money everywhere else and start, um, helping the United States of America, the people right here, because we don't even know what our money's going into. It's freaking ridiculous. Go ahead, honey, add that bill to China. Because we damn sure going to be paying them for the rest of our life. We owe them a big bill. And <laughs> what? You better ask somebody. I don't know why. The land of what? Y'all tripping now, honey. Y'all better know y'all history. Who owes who? Call it what y'all want. But we need to start taking care of right here. And, and, it, it's, and, and I don't see nothing wrong with, with supporting people. But fuck it, damn it. Like, it's crazy. It is crazy to me. It's crazy. And I'm down with supporting everybody. But um, we here are people in the street living on boxes, in the cars, in the rain, in the snow, in the blizzards, because they don't have enough to pay rent. And I've been there. I didn't have people that gave me a place to live. Not even my own family. I did not have it like that. Okay. <sighs> Pisces. Joan or Art Michael. 
Please help me do this reading. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Pisces, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Okay? God is good. And you may think your life is crazy or hard or whatever, but God is good. All right? He really is. If you woke up this morning, that's better than having everything that you own. Everything. Someone told me they were sick and they said, well, I haven't gone to the store to buy candles in a long time because I was sick. And you know what I told that person? When I got the COVID, the COVID, my house didn't go without a candle. If I have to choose between a loaf of bread and my candles, I choose a candle. If it's the last thing I got enough for a candle or a loaf of bread, I'm going to use my candle. All right? Because God is going to light the way. And, I, and I'm not talking about a candle for me, a candle from anywhere. All right? Let's get that correct, though. A candle from anywhere. Remember that. You better seek the light. That's the most important thing in the world. Seek the light because God is the way. And if you think I'm lying to you, try it. And, and then you know I'm not. He's the way. When, when doors close for you, he will make a way for many doors to open for you. When you think that you don't have enough, he finds a way for you to have it. And don't you ever forget that. And I'm going to say it again. For those that think that I live... A rich old life. Okay? A middle class life. I do not. Alright? And that's some real shit. Lord Jesus. Help me do this reading. Help me do this reading, Lord. Help me do this reading. Help me do this reading. Spirit and light. And that's this. And that is this. Okay. Perception, spirit, and light. And that's what I keep telling y'all. You need, no matter what, the light. Choose the light. No matter what, where you're at, choose the light. If you're in the darkest place in your life, the darkest place in your life, and all you can get it's a tea candle. Get it. And don't ever let that tea candle go. Off. Keep it lit. Do you understand? Detachment, action, empowerment. The source. Air. Four elements. It's time to get into the light. Believe in yourself. Because whatever it is that you ain't even looking for, God is bringing it to you without you even looking for it. 
whatever it is that people are trying to hide and do to you, is coming to you without you even looking for it. Okay? Detachment, action, empowerment. It's time to cut. Get to the chase and cut it. And I've been saying all my readings for the last couple days, I had to cut people off. And some of them people had to be my own family. People that have been around me. And you know what's crazy, Pisces? This is crazy to me. I have helped people for many years. And I took up for them what nobody did. Only for them to give me their ass to kiss. That's what they did. And it was the same old people. I had to make a choice on what I believe in and not pleasing my son and saying, this is for you, not for me. If people make you happy, then by all means, Stick to your family. Please do. But accept me as I am. Because when I decided to carry you for nine months, forget to carry you for nine months. When I made a choice and they said I was pregnant, I was young. When my mother found out I was pregnant, she said, you better not bring that black child to my house. And I had my son. I chose to have my son. When my son was six months old, my mother put me and him out. She was a sore and she kept with what she said. At the time, I got mad at her, and I was mad for years. But as I got older, to this day, I had to say thank you because I cannot run her household. If she says she didn't want it, she didn't want it. If I decide to keep it, it becomes my business, my problem. My mother's been showing up in my dreams for the last couple days, telling me about a tower over and over and over. I seen this tower go down from the top to the basement, and then I seen it from the top, from the attic to the bottom. And this is two, two different dreams, two different things. And then one, I said, Mom, you got to move from there because it's going to cave in. And everybody knows that I keep talking about my roof on my old part of my house. But when I pulled my mother out of there, she was walking like it was nothing going on. And she says, but this is what I want to buy, she said. I want to build, she said. And I don't know what she's saying, but that's what she said. And that was this time. And I see her clear as day. Not sick, but when she was, I would say in her late 40s. She was the greatest teacher. Although she was hard, she was the greatest teacher. And I feel like I'm, I went through this with my son and his father's side of the family. And I can't help. To be a part of what is not a part of me. I love my son. And I have accepted. 
everything that I don't want to be a part of. I love him. I will support him to the day I die. But I will not be a part of his father's family. And I ask God to please help me. I prepare myself all the time. But you can't never prepare yourself when you meet up face to face with people like that. There ain't no preparings. As far as other people that's been in my life, once I say I'm done with you, I'm done. I don't care what you're trying to figure out. Why? It don't matter. What matters is I'm done. And because I'm not around you, that means I'm done. I don't have to explain anything to you. All right? So, I'm going to say it again. And when I do a reading and I tell you my story, you're Pisces just like me. I'm not going crazy. You're not going crazy. You have to accept things for what it is and where you're at. And I don't care who or what it is. Okay? Don't try to stress yourself and bust your mind wide open. Why, 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 if, if, if. All right? You can sell your soul to the devil. And you can sleep with the devil. You can eat with the devil. You can live with the devil. You can work with the devil. The devil ain't going to change for you, but you will for it. And I'll be damned if I go with the devil. I can't afford to live like the devil. But God said, I will forever love you eternally for the rest, for the rest of you, for the rest of you, because life is eternal. Do you understand? You need to figure out how many more times how many more chances will you give people, places, and things that are damaging you? And that's what it's about. Your spiritual enlight that lives in you. The candle, the light, it lives in you. And detachment does not mean that you have to explain to anybody why you detach. People, honey, if I walk right now and I see somebody, they say, why you stop calling me? What? Why you stop calling me? Why you not talking to me? What? What? I don't owe you no explanations. Not one. I don't have to answer you. I never did nothing to you. If they say they never done nothing to me, okay. You never done anything to me. I don't have to explain myself to you and you don't have to explain yourself to me. Just move on, please. Get going. Because I've been going. I've been going. You just found out I was going? I've been going. Okay? That's the way it is. And some people need to... to to die with people in their lives for whatever reason. And these people might have supported you in whatever way. Red from you. I don't know what they did. But they don't know more. And then you figure out why you still there. You ain't getting no damn support you did before. If that's what you was there for. All right. Where's the support? A lot of people have people that truly support them. And... They don't even understand what support means. Okay? They have no clue what support means. Alright? And people may think support may come in a material way. 
But support don't always come in a material way. You know, people, a lot of people are not, um, a lot of mothers, sisters, brother, whatever, don't help you out. A lot of, you know, some of us don't have mom and dad anymore because they passed away. So some of us become the mother to step in and then we help our brothers and sisters with the kids or our own kids. We don't have to do any damn thing we don't want. Right? We do it from our heart. And people still take advantage of that. I mean, it's crazy. And, but you don't, we at a point in our life right now where you are literally saying, I will cut this and that off. I'll cut things. And you don't have to explain nothing to people. Because God is bringing it to your face. Remember I said, Saturn is going to come and bring an eye level to you. It ain't like, la, 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 la. It's right here. And you can't miss the point. How can you miss the point? It's, I don't know. All right, Pisces, here we go. Spirit, Archangel, Jonah, Art. Let's start this reading. You got the Six of Pentacles. On this particular card with the Six of Pentacles, you got this lady with this coin in her hand and this and this wand on the other side, like she's a teacher, talking to a student, right? Maybe you're a teacher. I don't know what you are. Maybe you do film. Maybe you're an actor. I don't know what you are, right? But whatever this is playing in your life, somebody's looking at your legs while you sitting there with your legs crossed. Um, they look to me like they're looking at your legs. And they look to me like you got the pinnacles in your hand. Right? I don't see nobody else with no pinnacles in their hand. I do see that it's a child and it is a man. All right? There's a child and a man here. Right? But you're the one with the pinnacles in your hand. I do not see this man with no pinnacles in their hand. This is a give and receive. I do see that light on that brightest stamp. And look at you. Okay? Look at you. All right? Look at this man. He looking at your legs. He is not. The little girl's looking directly at you. And the man is looking at your legs. All right? But that's supposed to be a gift and take. I help you. You help me. Right? Let's bring balance to the situation. But I see somebody here on, sitting on the floor and looking at your legs. I don't see them giving to you. I see them looking at your legs. And I see you talking to this child. Do you dress sexy? What's going on here? Who are you giving to? Do somebody see you as a sex object? I don't know. Because it don't look like they paying for nothing. It look like you pay. It don't look like they paying to me. It don't look like this is a give and take. All right? It looks like you taking care of your business. With your kids or whoever. You the teacher here. But the student is this grown-ass man sitting on the floor waiting to see what you're going to give him. What, what you supplying him with. Okay? Huh? So, you take care of your kids, but this man is there too. Let's see what you're going to supply me. They're looking at you like a sex object. Hoes in the streets get paid. Hoes in the streets get paid. You might as well say when you see a hole in the street, don't look at somebody. Don't even look at somebody that's out there getting high in the street. Like they be little. At least they know how to get that money to pay for their drugs. Uh, because hoes in the street gets paid, honey. All right? Um, but it looked to me here like Somebody here is like the teacher with two students 
and one of your students look like they're looking at you, like you, um, the madam, the baker, the take advantage of, not the give and receive, not to bring balance here, all right? And this card can rep represent you getting money from somewhere that you didn't even think it would come. But to me, it looked like you dress sexy, somebody looking at you at work. What are they offering you? Um, Cookies and cream? A cup of coffee? Because they look at you like you are a sex object. Now, will they balance you or would you go back into... See is something body else's shit in the same shit, and I don't know if you are in that shit or was in that shit. All right, all right. Now, one thing I will tell you, Pisces, the King of Pentacles. All right, there's a door that opened up for you, and there's another one that's going to open up. And I see you doing this. Whether it's with somebody that's not immature or is it you saying, I'm not playing these games no more. I'm going to set boundaries here. All right? I'm not going to be off balance anymore. I'm going to move on to these doors. All right, because I feel like you're leaving something away that you was or the way you was with people behind to come into a door of what is the best thing for you. And I think that is a beautiful thing because now you choose yourself and you know what to do. And you drive off into the sun because then you know what is right for you. See, once you make up your mind to bring balance into your life, and that means bring balance, that means bring what's the best thing for you. For you. What is good for you? Because you got somebody looking at your legs and you got a child here, but the six of pinnacle means I give and receive. Bring, okay, you do for me, I do for you. Right? Bring in balance. Okay? Help comes from a place that you never thought it would come. Doors will open up for you. It's not somebody taking advantage of you and not giving you shit. But you giving up your coochie, you giving up your food, you giving up your space. They living off of you rent free in your space. Don't even support their kids. Don't even support their, it's not that they're, they're irresponsible. All right. Or somebody that you work with want to have a, 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 a relationship with you, a sexual thing with you. Or maybe this is what you have, um, you know, you with somebody else that, Ain't doing shit for you. All right? Bread from you. But I feel like this is what you did in the past. But now you're coming into, there's doors that are opening up for me. Right? And you get what you want. I'm going to say it again. You get what you want. Pisces. When I came off from doing all this time, I had to work two jobs. It, it wasn't jobs that I wanted. It was the, the jobs that nobody wanted. Right? I was treated like I came from another part of the world. In the United States of America. And that's the way I was treated. Like shit. Like trash. And I ain't gonna say royalty trash. I mean trash. Right? I go to work. And where I worked at, it was all people from all different nationalities. Wasn't American, because you ain't seen no American working in there. Right? You see everybody that they didn't have no business living in this country, 
not even having the right documents, working in there, treating me like shit, all right? Like I was in their country, and I worked like that for five years and worked in a Dunkin' Donuts. Two jobs to make one paycheck. So I know what it is. But I could not go back dealing drugs and going to jail. So I had to make a decision. And when you make a decision, and I mean make a decision to say, I don't need you and I'm going to work my ass off and I don't care how many jobs I got to work to take care of myself. And shut the door. Guess what? Doors will open up for you. But you must challenge yourself to get to where the light is. Didn't I tell you, this little light of mine, I'm going to make it shine. I'm going to make it shine. All right? Bring the light into your life. And stop worrying about your coochie and what you want in a man or a woman. Right? Stop looking for everybody to do, do, do for you. Pleasure you. Do for yourself and love yourself. And when you do that, all things fall in place. And I don't care if it's what, everything seems to fall right like, like a puzzle. But when you put yourself second. And you let people trash you because of what you want and what you need. And some of y'all, I need, I need a man. And I need, I need somebody to love me. And I need, and I need to be with somebody else's man. And I need, I need, and, and talk. Everything you need is you. And everything you would leave this world would be just you. Why don't you make it about you? It's not about. What I got to have is what I need. Life is simple, but you make it so hard for yourself. And when people got you all figured out, oh, you really being taken advantage of. When you allow somebody to step off balance with you the first time, you're going into distraction. Right? You're going into being used, abused, into tower moments, after tower moments, after tower moments, because you gave the devil power over you. You can make 50 million excuses for a person, and you can continue to go live in somebody's house and go visit and lay up in their bed and eat the food that they cook for you. And take you to the movies or take you out to eat and drink liquor, whatever you do with them. Smoke, whatever you do with them. Sell your soul to the devil because that's all the fuck you're going to get. When you have so much, honey, you got pentacles here, pentacles here into the sunset. Material world. The material world is here for you. You look at it this way, and then you turn this way and say, I'm going for this. Because when they shut, when you shut them down, because they been shut your ass down, they been shut you down. When you decide to shut that down once and for all, this door will open up for you, and you will gain what you want. All right? Do you know how much readings I do? And, and it's the same thing. I He did this to me, but okay. And things that they do is the worst thing you can do to a person. And guess what? I turn around and talk to you and you're still dealing with the same person. I don't, I've don't. been there and done that, so I can't tell you how to live your life. But I can tell you my world consists of me today and if they don't love me for me then I can't I ain't got no space for you and that means all of me my spirituality 
my body, mind, and soul, and it ain't about my pussy. It's my body, mind, and soul before you can even get to the pussy. Okay? Okay? And what you going to bring through the doors besides your dick? You're not going to sell me this little sweet old talk anymore. Okay? I'm going to know how you live. You're not just going to come to my house. I'm going to know how you live. I'm going to know what you're about. Okay? Before you will ever lay in my bed. Or eat off of my place. I'm not stupid anymore. Okay? And that's with everything in your life. Whether you go and clock in a job. I don't care. You need to be accountable and take actions for what you want in your life. Okay? Because nothing will be paid off on its own. If you don't pay your bills, you can't run from a bill collector. Okay? And that's how life is. You can't let people live rent-free in your life. You cannot allow people to go into your account and leave a blank check. And that's with anything in your life. And if you don't understand, you need to understand it. Because here, once you realize there ain't no balance, there ain't no give and take, then you learn that it's a bigger door Honey, you got one door. Is a bigger one there that's going to open up for you. And you ride on to the sunset. All right? You, you can leave here. You will leave. Trust me when I tell you. You will leave. All right? Okay? It's like right here you need to be with somebody. And I don't know if you need to stop giving because you got kids to take care of. You know? And you go to work and there's something bigger and better that's going to open up for you. All right? I can't take for myself to give to you when you ain't giving me. And I got to take care of everything else. No. When you go to work faithfully, working crazy hours. All right? Situations. You keep working until that next door opens up. And when it opens up, you're going to take off. But you got to bring balance between you and the people around you. Do you understand that energy travels? Now, this is crazy. You got the six of pentacles, a give and take. And then you got the six of cups right under it. Okay? So... You might have been given to someone in your past. Giving, 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 giving. Or somebody wants to come back that you gave, 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 gave. And never got, 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 got nothing. Okay? And this could be anybody. It could be your kids. It could be your friends. It could be a lover. It could be anybody. But it's saying... You must be loyal to yourself. All right? You grew up. You done a lot of growing up. All right? You must bring balance into your own life. And I don't care who wants to come back. Do you know what balance means? Because that's what you need. Balance. All right? You keep letting people come into your life. That are not meant to be, they're going to throw you off balance. All right? Do not let your coochie, your heart do the thinking for you. You need to think and see things, okay? And make things make sense to you in a logical way. All right? Because I feel like you gave. And it was the never equal give and take here. But if somebody wants to return to you, when you have built yourself up, you grew up, you learned a lot. And if people wanted to come back, and it could be anybody, all right? But you need to understand where you're at in your life. 
And if you don't know where you're at in your life, then you get ready to start some shit in your life again. All right? That's what you're going to do. Tell me more. Tell me more about this what? This king of pentacles. This material world. This person that has it all. Right? That has it all. One door is already open. Something else is going to open. Holding on to them pentacles. Okay? Remember, you got that. All the tools to let things go. You've been praying for this. You got the king of pentacles and the king, the queen of cups. There is a pair here. All right? There's a pair. You've been wanting this in your life. You've been wanting this, <clears throat> this person to come into your life. Right? You have known this person. You have had um, history with this person. But you need to pick yourself. You need to know that every flower in the dozen of flowers, every rose. And remember that roses come with thorns. Don't you forget that. That every rose in that bunch, every rose in that bunch, all of them are not good roses. All right? Remember, a rose bush have thorns in them. The flower look gorgeous, beautiful, but they got thorns that pierce you, hurt you. All right? Um, so whatever it is, you've been asking for this. And this is on, it's like you've been asking for the this right person to come. Or this right situation to open up doors for you. But you've been praying on this. And I don't know what you pray for, but I pray for peace in my life. For peace. That's, to me, peace is everything to me. Peace is everything. Joy and peace. And love by to love myself. To bring peace and joy to myself. And everything else will fall into place. I don't know if you're the one that's praying for a man to come into your life. Praying for the for God to just bring the heavens and put it in your hands. Some of y'all pray for that. Some of y'all pray for wealth. All right? Make sure you pray for good health. Pray for joy. Okay? And thank God for everything you got. I don't care if it's a slice of bread. But somebody here is somebody from your past that I give and take, but look at you in a sexual way, wanting to come back. Or maybe that's what you're asking for. Right? Um, And maybe this person have it going on. Right? Or had it going on. But did they have it going on with you? Did they give you what you want? Huh? Because you're praying for this. Are you dealing with a Capricorn? Are you dealing with... um? It's a lot of money here. And it's a lot of cups. Right? Into the sun. The major card here is that sun card. The Leo. Right? In the middle of your card is what you're wishing and, and praying for. Now, riding off to the sunset and getting this, what you want. The sun is always yes. The sun brings light into your life. Okay? Vibration. Vibrating. Right? But you walk away from what? From what no longer is serving you. Right? You got the sun. But whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you've been asking the universe for, with a person gaining something, watch what you ask for, especially if it's something that you already had. But you're walking away from right here, this King of Cups. So I don't know if a person here, you got, you got 
like three different, two different people. The king, of, are you messing with your own side, Gem, Gemini, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo? Um, it's here. All up in your emotion. Maybe you grew up with this person. Maybe this is the person you thought you was going to have all your life, but you had to walk away from somebody here. That, you know, that loves you, but I guess it's not enough love. You know, maybe the love you want from them, and they, you know, maybe this person say they love you, but I don't know what, what kind of love it is because I see like you walking away, choosing the sun over them. And this can be, it got a star there. It could be Aquarius. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, all right? This person can be very spiritual, all right, can be a Pisces man, but honey, you walking into the sunset, honey. All right, it's like you wishing for this person that I don't know in the material world that has it, but maybe you want a material girls. Maybe you choose materialistic things before love. Maybe you love people for what they got and not for who they are. Okay, I don't know. All right, a, a lot of people be want to be with people for what they got, and then when they ain't got it no more, oh well, you ain't doing shit for me like you did before. You ain't giving me nothing now. But this person may not have what they used to have to give you, but you walking away from them, even though it's hard for Pisces to understand. It's like you're not getting what you used to get, <laughs> right? And maybe that's what you after. What they used to can give you. What they can give you. And maybe y'all want them lucky ass Pisces that got that shit. Alright. But somebody here gave a lot. And it looks very sexual to me. Alright. You know. It is what it is Pisces. You know. But I do feel like it's time to say enough is enough. Right, and I don't know if you're walking into the sunset where you know it's what you want. You want to be happy, but happiness come within you, right? And maybe you walked away from this person that loves you, but can't take care of you like they used to. Or maybe you're walking away from somebody that you know that cares for you, but you after the goals and the riches and the famous, right? You looking for somebody that can handle you, not somebody that just takes your coochie and live off of you for free. And I don't blame you if that's what you're looking for, because that's that's what I would want. I would want somebody that can handle me. I don't want you to live off of me and think you can come over here and sleep in my bed and hee hee ha ha. Let's have a drink. Let's smoke. Let's party. Nah, honey, life is bigger than that. All right. And it's somebody that you familiar with. Somebody that's been there. And maybe these two people been there. Who knows? Maybe you've been with somebody for years that you know. And maybe you have somebody that surround you. But you might have history with one. And you might been living with one 12, 13 years, whatever. But you damn sure got deep history with someone here. All right, tell me more. The Knight of Cups. So with this person from the past is taking their time moving in, all right? They coming to offer you something, but they taking their time riding that white horse, all right? Pure. Like they coming, are they coming with good intention? Remember this person is the kind of person that looks for this sexual thing with you. All right, you got a lot of cups here. I don't know if this person has this. dealing with the same sign. It's a lot of emotions going on here. Tell me more about, did you cut somebody off? All right, did something come to you without you looking for it? Did you get information? Did, did you see something? All right, the universe is showing you something. Did you, things are not the same like they used to be with someone here that has history or wanting to see you again. It's something here that stopped. 
right? Tell me more about this King of Pentacles and what you want. It's like somebody been wanting this. I, I feel like there's two different people here. This person is the kind of person that will hurt you. That goes after they want and they get what they want, but they would they won't stop at anything to get what they want. All right? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person can be, are you praying for this person to, oh, I want this, I want this door to open, but I want them. But this person will, honey, will destroy your little ass. Right? This person is the kind of person that says, if I can't have you, nobody else will. This person may be the kind of person that you're doing good, but they don't wish no good for you. Right? You can't tell them the doors are opening up for you. You can't tell them what's, what's happening good in your life because they will come for you to destroy you. Okay, so that's why it's important not to tell people your business because people want to act like they know you and what you got and they want to know everything that you're doing, but they don't come with good intentions, right? They want to know how you pay and how you live, how you can live like that and don't even know that you're living off of a loaf of bread, but they come to destroy you. They come to fight you. If you see somebody else, they're going to fight. All right? They're not going to walk away with no problem. Or they're going to walk away with the problem. And they're going to settle the problem. All right? I don't know what it is here, but I believe that you have choices. And I see a lot of water and money. And I see somebody fighting. Fighting. And could really hurt you. Okay? So, you better think about that. All right, Pisces. Let's move on. You better be careful what you're asking God for. Because sometimes what we ask God for and what we get is two different things. All right? And you should wish, uh, you know, you got doors to open up, but you got somebody, you wishing for these doors to open up or this person, because, or you want this person that, May open up doors for you or already got doors and offer you a better door or got two doors. One they've been with and one that they're trying to open up. But this is what you want. It's like somebody that's already in situations, right? Wanting to open up a new door and they can open it up with anybody they want because it's the king of pentacles, right? But you're wishing on it and this person is coming to keep hurting you, all right? But you're walking away from somebody for some reason in your past. I just feel like you're going for something that you think that or have something to offer you. But this person is going to hurt you. And then you got somebody in your past that love you. That you got history with. I don't know what the hell that you're walking away from. That you're cutting off. Whatever you're doing with this King of Cups and that you set yourself and walking into the sunset and walking away because there ain't no more love there. Right? You want some, I feel like you want something that's a bad boy compared to something that can treat you like gold. You better ask somebody that's a bad boy than something that you know that's going to be right for you. I don't know what the hell you want or what you're doing, Pisces, but I do know that it's a choice here that need to be made, right? Um, but you should just lay back, right? Is somebody here that needs to take the time and look at things for what it is. You need rest. You overworking yourself about this situation. You, you, if you can lay down and, and get some rest and you can start seeing things clear, like somebody is walking away, right? But it's a lot to think about. Pisces, if you need to read and get it from me or someone else, all right? I'll talk to you later.
Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.